I'm Sergeant First Class Miriam Limas, and you're at Army HRC. More than 33,000 soldiers and Army airmen remain unaccounted for since the end of World War II. Here's a look inside HRC's Past Conflict Repatriation Branch to see just what we're doing to bring our soldiers home. My name is Greg Gardner. I am the uh, branch chief in what's called the Past Conflicts Repatriation Branch. Starting with World War II, the Army has a little over 36,000 unaccounted for. About half of those are Army Air Corps and about half are ground losses. Korea, right under 6,000 now unaccounted for from the Korean conflict. And we have just a little over 500 that are unaccounted for still from Vietnam. The Past Conflicts Repatriation Branch is part of a large organization within the Department of Defense. Our role is primarily families. As part of the casualty office, we work with the families. All the questions the families have or get answers to them, we're essentially that first line for DOD in dealing with the families. This mission actually started in the 1980s with Vietnam. And President Reagan was actually the one that started this mission out. The mission then evolved into Korea. That occurred after 2000. Then in 2010, Congress made World War II a priority. There are many tools that are used to identify soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines from past conflicts. One of the key ones that has allowed us to get where we are today is DNA. Now we're able to get DNA out of very small fragments of remains. We still get identifications from dental, we get identifications from a machine gun on a World War II aircraft has a serial number. That serial number, we find that machine gun, we find the remains with it. It's sometimes sufficient to make an identification. Since 2009, we've identified about 698 soldiers and Army Air Corps airmen. World War II identifications have been nearly 200. From Vietnam, we've had 39 identifications since 2009. The folks that work for me, all of them are veterans, and they are probably the most dedicated and giving individuals that I've ever worked with uh, in the Army. These folks go out on a uh, monthly basis or even weekly basis to meet with families, to give them news that's not always good, but they do it with grace and they do it in a very caring way. They're honored to do the mission. 